when the narcissist sees you with someone else. It's been some time since you were with the narcissist. Either you left them or they discarded you. And you met someone else. You started dating someone else. You're happy with this new person. They treat you a lot better than the narcissist did. You feel like you are able to be yourself around this new person. And then one day the narcissist either sees you together or becomes aware that you have found someone else. They don't admire or respect your new relationship. They don't take it seriously. They just see it as a joke. It's just something that gives them amusement. They don't really see it as though you've moved on. The narcissist sees you as an object. They see you as being their property. So in their minds, you can't move on. You will always be theirs. Even if they believe that you are in a committed relationship, they see it as though it's only a matter of time until it falls apart. Narcissists do not honour loyalty or commitment. They didn't when they were with you. And they're not going to now that you're with someone else. It's just a game to the narcissist. They don't take anything seriously. All they care about is getting reactions out of people, getting supply. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. They don't care about how it might affect other people. They just want what they want. And they will do whatever it takes to get it. They don't honour or respect your new relationship. They just see it as a joke. They see it as though you're just being taken advantage of. You're being tricked and deceived. And they see your new partner as being a fool. Someone who doesn't realise what they're really involved in. Someone who has just blindly entered an unfavourable situation. They see you both as two stupid people who don't really know what they're doing. People who are just using each other for their own selfish needs. Deep down, underneath that pride and arrogance, underneath their false sense of superiority, they are very envious and jealous of what you have. They wish that it was them. They wish that they could come back to you. But because of how things ended and how you're with someone else now, they know that they can't come back. They know how it would look if they did try to come back to you. So they'll bite their tongue. 
but secretly they wish that they could come back. Once you have moved on to someone else, they re-idealize you. They start to realize just how great you are. Because while you were with them, they managed to turn everyone against you. They managed to get everyone around you to see you as something undesirable or unattractive. So when someone outside of their group comes in and sees your true value, it becomes a reminder to the narcissist of everything you actually are. Everything you always were. It's like the love bombing phase all over again. They become infatuated with your glow, your aura and everything that surrounds you. And in that moment, you are perfect. You are everything they ever wanted. Even though they, they may have discarded you. They just see it as though they couldn't see it back then. But now that you're with someone else. They have re-idealized you. They have developed this great awareness and understanding of you. This epiphany or realization. That you are a rarity. One of a kind. Something that they may never find again. But at the same time. They know that they cannot come back to you. Because now you're with someone else. Although they still see you as an object. They still see you as their property. As long as they assume that you're just dating and not in a relationship. When the narcissist knows that you have engaged in sexual contact with someone else, that is when they no longer see you as their property. That is when the re-idealization re 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 phase fades away and they lose any attachment they once had to you. That is when they quickly forget about you. That is when they are forced to find another source of supply. Unless they don't have any other options. Then they will still continue to pursue you. But as long as they believe that you haven't completely moved on. They will still be lurking in the shadows. They will still be watching you. Because in their minds, you're still theirs. In their minds, you still belong to them. Even if they see you as someone else, they don't take it seriously. They don't see it as though you're actually in a relationship. They still see it as though you're, you're their property. And they just believe that you're being tricked and deceived. They believe you're being taken advantage of. And they believe that your partner is unaware of your flaws and imperfections. Unaware of your past. Because in their minds, if your partner knew all of your flaws... If they knew everything that happened in your past. They would never love you. They would never want to be with you. Because in their minds. That makes you unlovable. Which is really just a projection of how they feel about themselves.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join our support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.